and focus. Yay! Magic. Right, so as I thought, I thought I might as well film this because I'm kind of curious to see what the result will be myself. I've got two yarns here. This is King Cole Embrace. It's um, nylon and acrylic blend. A little bit fluffy. And this is Katya, I'm going to say Estepa. And it's very, very, very furry. And it's polyamide and polyester. So what I did with this yesterday is a little wolf head. I'll turn this inside out so you can see what it looks like from the other side. This is where the eyes are. And then all over the top I slip stitched the furry yarn onto the front. I was pulling yarn from the inside up and just worked with it inside out like this. Uh, what I'd like to know is whether it can be trimmed to achieve a nicer look. I've got a um, pet fur brush and some scissors. So let's give it a little brushing first. This yarn is very long and fluffy. Um, I didn't really think it would be this long when it's lip stitched on, but that's a nice surprise. So, without further ado, let's see what happens. I would like to trim off about this much on the nose and less on top because I want it to look like a little wild dire wolf type creature. Um, the colours are probably not quite right but we'll see what happens. Okay, wish me luck. Here goes. I'm gonna start trimming it a bit like a pom-pom I guess. Not that I made that many pom-poms. But I do love how they look. But my scissors are a bit blunt. Okay, so far so good. I can't really see what the camera sees, so I'm hoping it shows the right things. <laughs> It's a good start to Monday morning. Okay. After I slip, st slip stitched it on, I had to pull up some of the bits that got stuck in the stitches with a needle, which sometimes helps get the yarn more fluffy. I can show that another time because it's quite a straightforward thing. I'm kind of interested in how textured yarns mix with straightforward ones because they can be a real pain to crochet with because they get tangled, they're hard to undo all the things that make us not really want to use them too much. That looks okay. It feels strange to be trimming off so much yarn. Maybe this is too much. I don't know. Let's go with it. I think it's already looking more like what I imagined, which is always a good thing. Snip, snip. I might need to add some more fur on the back because it's looking a little bit bold there. Ok, 
okay that's kind of better maybe is it uh, it's hard to tell this would be a good way to practice haircuts before doing them on a actual human I'll leave it back a little bit wilder. Let's give it a brush, Let's see what happens. Well, there we go. It sort of works. There's something to play around with. I don't know if I'll use this for a pattern yet, because maybe it's too fiddly for people to do. tricky to explain on paper without showing it. Anyways, something like this can be done. So this is the after. Probably could trim it more, but it's tricky to know when to stop. Definitely looks more wolf-like. Yeah, let's keep going with this.